Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 11 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. In this episode we're going to take a look at the uh, the blocks uh, that we're going to need in order to build ourselves a breeder reactor. If you remember last uh, episode in the series we uh, used the electrolyzer to produce the molten sodium that we're going to need for the breeder reactor. But now we're going to look at the three blocks that we haven't looked at that you're going to need to be able to craft as well as take a look at all of the components you're going to need to set up the breeder reactor. So, the most important thing, obviously, the breeder reactor core. Um, and that's crafted very simply with a fuel core, four base panels, and four steel ingots. That gives you the breeder reactor core. Okay, so you're going to need these. And they work in the same way as the fission uh, reactor cores, the regular fuel core. And we'll take a look at that in a moment, at the GUI and whatnot. Then we're going to need breeder reactor fuel. And breeder reactor fuel is simply a fresh uranium fuel pellet with four depleted uranium pellets around it. Okay, and that gives you four breeder reactor fuel. And it says 0% converted. So what the breeder reactor is, is a way for you to take that depleted uranium, which is the output, one of the outputs from your fission reactors, and to turn it into something useful again. Okay, so you're not going to need a breeder reactor until after you have accumulated, you know, some uh, a certain amount of depleted uranium, and then you're like, okay, I want to use this depleted uranium. I want to make myself something better, and of course, and uh, this eventually it produces plutonium, is what it's for. And you're going to need sodium heaters, which are simply a steam boiler with four iron ingots around it. All right, not steel ingots, just iron ingots. <coughs> that gives you the sodium heater. So in total, you're going to need all of these blocks. These are the blocks you're going to need, along with anything else you can think of, that you, uh, to uh, along with power sources and whatnot, to get yourself a functioning breeder reactor. That was my Skype, by the way. Uh, the breeder reactor core has the same exact GUI as the regular fuel core. Breeder reactor fuel goes in here, and nuclear waste comes out from here. I assume it produces nuclear waste. Otherwise, why would the slots be there? I haven't actually fired one of these up yet. But you will fill it with breeder reactor fuel, and uh, it'll heat up. Now, if we look at the handbook, and we take a look at the breeder reactor. Oh, come on. It has the same maximum temperature as the regular uh, fuel core for the fission reactor, 1800C. Um, it emits neutrons, just like the regular fission reactor. Um, and it does heat up faster. Okay, it heats up somewhat faster than normal. Okay, then there's also the sodium heater, which is like a steam boiler, but it's actually more like the uh, the CO2 boilers, the CO2 uh, carbon dioxide heat exchangers that we use in the high temperature gas reactor because it accepts molten sodium in the bottom and it outputs hot molten sodium out the top once the temperature hits 300 degrees. So if we go back and we look at the HTGR, we can see that compared to the carbon dioxide heat exchanger, it doesn't need to reach nearly as high of a temperature, only 300, but it still needs to heat up higher than the regular steam boiler, which only have to hit 100. Okay, so keep that in mind if you're wondering why it's not working after it hits 100, because it needs to hit 300. Okay, and then you can put the hot molten sodium through a heat exchanger. So the reactor itself functions in the same way as a fission reactor, but you cool it like you would cool a high temperature gas reactor. All right, so it's got a little bit of both there. Okay, so that's what the sodium heater looks like. Of course, no GUI, and it will accept liquid pipe uh, connections on the top and also on the bottom, but not from the sides. Okay, so you're going to need that. You're going to need liquid pipe, obviously. You're going to need heat exchangers. Uh, the number of these you're going to need will depend on how you know big of a reactor you've got. And then you're going to need steam boilers, because remember how the heat exchangers work. You put steam boilers around the uh, heat exchangers, or in the case of my h jar, you put one. But you put steam boilers next to it. This heats up from the hot molten sodium, and then it will heat w uh, water in the steam boiler. Although you could use ammonia if you wanted to, although I don't know if you'd end up with a uh, massive explosion. And you're going to need steam lines, all right? So these are the components that you're going to need to build your uh, breeder reactor, all right? That's pretty much what we got uh, for today. Thursday is when I'm going to actually uh, build the uh, the breeder reactor, get one working, and uh, and show you how it's working. The breeder reactor does output power, uh, but not much. 
Okay, not a lot. Its primary purpose is not to produce power. Its primary purpose is to cycle uh, your breeder reactor fuel, your depleter aim, into plutonium. All right, which you can throw back into a fission reactor for a lot more power, but also a lot more heat. Okay, so yeah, that's the purpose of the breeder reactor. So you, uh, while you might be able to get some power out of this, don't confuse the thing and think that that's what it's for, because that's not its primary uh, function. All right, great. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. So go ahead and make yourself these blocks. Um, you know, get a good number of, uh, of of red breeder cores. You know, maybe nine or so, and and some sodium heaters and, and a heat exchanger or two. And, you know, steam boilers, and uh, make go ahead and make sure you've got a whole bunch of molten sodium. So Thursday we'll uh, check out the actual uh, breeder reactor. We'll we'll get it to run and we'll and uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, stay tuned, of course, for tomorrow, Wednesday, when will be a uh, the next episode of Let's Play. Um, thanks for supporting that, by the way. As well as a uh, a new uh, series possibly coming up soon. So I hope you've enjoyed. I'm Sutton Leach, and I'm signing out.